Please, Kamina, don't do this. Take him to the brig. How long until the pirates are back in range? Hour, maybe two, depending on burn. Same as last time. And the time before that? And the tin time before that. How are you doing? I'm not the one we need to worry about. Her body can't heal under this burn. Even Khan needs to rest sometime. You'll figure something out. I know you will. Motherfuckers! Shouldn't be possible! ETA, eight minutes! They must have increased their burn this time. Uh, <sighs> don't these Pashangwalas rest? Humans rest. Pirates? Fucking animals. We need to do something about your arm. Virgil has the medbay prepped and ready. It's fine. Hardly hurts anymore. We're outgunned and nearly out of fuel. Unless we come up with a plan to shake them soon, infection's gonna be the least of my problems. What do you think we should do? What do I think we should do? Besides find ourselves a captain who knows how to make decisions? I was asking your opinion. My opinion is that there is no good option. Whatever you choose will be wrong. And it's your fucking job to choose, Captain. Coordinates, 8214. What are we looking at? Fuck if I know. It's a ship's graveyard. Debris field. Caught in orbit around that body. There's nothing registered there. How do you know? Back when I was MCRN, there were reports of a proxy battle right around here with UNN forces. Never confirmed, but seemed legit. Or much more likely, it's some solar backscatter, radiation cluttering, or... Any other fucking thing? How large was this battle? Large enough for a pissant ensign like me to hear about it. I'd guess nearly a dozen ships? New plan! We run for cover, in there! Won't work, boss man. If we, if we break their lock, they'll be able to track our drive plume. There won't be a drive plume. We burn hard for here first, then cut engine and turn into orbit. Let it carry us around until we land in the debris. Slingshot, fuck yes! Could work, if there is actually something there. Stations! Con, on my word, loose a PDC volley, then turn and burn.
5 G. 6 G. Turning now. in the debris field. <laughs> it's shit pirates! You did it, boss man! Fucking legend! Quiet! We don't have much time. The pirates are searching for us, and we can't run again without more fuel and reaction mass. Arlen? Baratna and I will head out and start scanning. Captain, I'm prepped for surgery as soon as Khan is ready. <sighs> Tell that waste of oxygen I wouldn't be needing surgery if he didn't freak out the first time. I'm still here. Virgil won't let you down. He handled Rayan's surgery just fine. The prosthetic is ready. Is the, uh, patient? Fine. But you're staying to make sure Dr. Dipshit doesn't cut off the wrong arm. Scanners, I'm picking up any signs of fuel. Keep looking. Meantime, I'll go for their reaction mass. What a mess. What got Earth and Mars so worked up? And what's a Belta ship doing in the middle of it? Who knows? Hopefully they all got some reaction mass on board though.
Brian, how's the new prosthetic doing? Sometimes it feels just like my old leg. But then sometimes it feels like it's the stranger who won't let go of me. And then it starts itching so bad. Quit whining. You made the red call, Cap. Ray wasn't using his leg much anyway. <laughs> I'll never look at a containment vault the same again after that terrible situation with Rayon. Found some reaction mass. Toss it to me. I will store it. <sighs> nice toss, Cap. <laughs> Woo! Boss man, you probably noticed me Baratna has been a little edgy lately. Ray, your brother has been an angry Pasheng Wallow since my first day on board. This is different. He's... He's got the shakes. It's the pixie dust. But he's been clean for almost a year! He takes some meds that help keep him straight, but... But we haven't done a supply run in weeks. Yeah. Ran out of toxiperidone three days ago. Don't worry, boss man. He'll be fine. He's tough. But... Thought you should know. I don't want to interrupt, but how is everything down there? The auto dock was amazing. I want to high five it, but it's still covered in some really unspeakable substances. Khan will be out for a while. When she wakes up, we'll try to attach the prosthetic and. What the? Oye, oh, yeah, Maya. Shit. Maya is always complaining about the tools in the engineering bay. Maybe an MCRM model would cheer her up. Yeah, Cap. Cheer up the Martian girl with your tool. Pashang Fong. Typical Inyas. Travel all the way out here, yet can't break free from their peppy plant extract. Some people don't have anything real to care about.
Virgil will probably appreciate these mushrooms. Oh, maybe he'll make white kibble when we get back. Cap, what do you think of Virgil? You trust him? Virgil's a smart man and a reliable medic. Until he got our pilot shot, you mean? Hopefully won't need these anytime soon. After this week, maybe keep them close by. Okay, all right, so <clears throat> I thought I'd give my mic a try <laughs> again until I, the wire's in the making, so I just thought I'd give it a shot anyway. Can't tell whether the Belta ship was attacked by both sides or caught in the middle. Either way, it didn't stand a chance. So they're like, there's like so much hidden things that you could actually like miss. So it's like, you know, I'd be trying to just search everywhere to try to see if we could get everything. You know what I mean? Because you can't get lost. That's why it's like, you know, it's good to just... So the MCRM was chasing the Belters because they stole something. Only need one ship to chase someone. Why'd they bring our whole fleet? The Martians didn't want the UNN to intercept the stolen tech first. They sent a fleet to keep them away. And the UNN reacted the way they always do. With guns. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna head back down. There's nothing up here. We already looked at this. So yeah, we'll head back down.
have we been in here? Oh no, look at this. Drugs. Hmm. The Martian ship had focus drugs on board. Must have wanted to question someone. I hate those things. Rayon and I got busted by the MCR in once. Didn't think I'd leave that interrogation room alive. Watching that Martian's eyes go all weird. Last time we ever stole anything on Vesta, had to move to Ceres and start stealing there. Were they planning for an interrogation? Then why'd they start shooting? I thought maybe that would be the drug that that homeboy was looking for. This area is covered pretty much. I'm gonna go down a little further though. Just to be safe. I think this is where we were at. This would be the photo of them outside. Right? Some people don't have anything real to care about. Yep. Alright. Okay. Coffee machine. Alright. Okay. Might be able to rewire this guidance system to work with our ammo. It was good enough for Earth and Mars to tear each other apart. And neither side surrendered, even after taking heavy fire. Stupid Inyas, they never know when to quit. We're doing good with the scavenging now. We're finding some goods. See what I'm trying to do. Okay. We were <coughs> we were already here. Check this. Nothing. Okay. All right. We'll bounce. There's like, there's always something to like do. That's that thing. Okay. Alright. So they want me there.
Just checking, because I know there's um that side mission for the uh, medicine. So, we kind of want to <clears throat> see what that's all about. That's where we're supposed to go. So now nah, I don't really want to go there yet. I saw something flashing over here. Over there. Oh, this is the same spot. Um, I wonder if the drug actually in this particular building here. <sighs> we found a lot of stuff here. You think I overlooked the drugs? That could be the thing. We could have overlooked the drugs. Because it is very easy to get lost in here. Let's see. We went down. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking what we need could be right in here. Let's see. <clears throat> Are they showing what we picked up? Like some of our scavengers? They just show like what we exactly what we picked up. I thought she said she kept track of everything. Didn't she say that? Okay. All right, so I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna stress that. I think the drug is here. I'm assuming it's here somewhere. And we're going to find it. Once the innards caught up to the belters, it was over in minutes. Hmm. All right, we've already seen this already. Uh, 
I'm not gonna front. I do get <coughs> I do get a little lost from the camera views. The camera views gets me a little a little shady, but we've been busting it. Yeah, because I want to get the drug. Um, because I know we've been doing some real good scavenging, but. Well, that's the focus drug. Hmm. They want us there. Because we were able to get the, uh, Whole thing in the other one, because we went everywhere. This guy can pay attention to our little bodysuit over here. Make sure we're good. Well, so far, the first episode, um, episode one, <coughs> really caught my attention. It was uh, really good. I was loving the decisions that you had to make. Um... Floating around in outer space is actually very creepy to me, so that just makes it even more inter interesting, so. Oh, so we don't want to do that. All right, so I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to go back into that place that we were at. Because I have a feeling that it is <coughs> where that drug is. It has to be where the drug is. So we're going to go check it out. this oh wow look at this you know I'm definitely gonna go in there <laughs> let's see what we got here it better not be somewhere we were already at oh Jesus really and why am I upside down come on were they planning for an interrogation then why'd they start shooting? Sweetheart, are you floating upside down? Is that the reason why we're doing this? Hey, what are we doing? It seems like I've covered everything here. It's the Mad Bay. It's the bridge.
That's the same area we were at before. With the coffee. Alright. You see how like some of that could get you confused? Like what are you doing, baby? I'm a scavenger. <laughs> like I love finding everything. So it's like When you're on that mission, you know, you want to try to find everything in the game. So I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to try to proceed. And uh, maybe going into that other spot might help. And see what happens there. Yeah, we'll give that a shot. Let's see what happens. Because we cleaned everything up in here, I'm assuming. We got some mushrooms. Right? We grab the guidance system. Okay, so. You can't even keep track of like uh, <clears throat> what you actually scavenged. That kind of blows, to be honest. Because <clears throat> I know what we need is probably like right in front of us. Because I know the drugs are here. All right, we're going to do one more look <laughs> and then we're going to uh, proceed. Us. Nothing. Because in the first playthrough, we found so much stuff, but we were, I was everywhere. Like, I was determined. The only thing that's getting me confused is the uh, is the camera angles. The camera angles is actually throwing me off because I don't know if she's see that that's actually throwing me off. All right. What's this? Just something to stand on.
Like it seems like we're just going like in a big freaking circle. Focus drugs. Were. So you would think that the medicine thing would be in here, right? The alternate drug or whatever that thing is called. I thought I could find it. At least I thought it was on this ship here. You would think, right? We've been through there. Tell me I'm getting to the no safe zone. Yep. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. We're going to proceed. Maybe we'll find a medicine moving on. I don't know. For some reason, I thought the medicine would have been right where we were at. But nah, no dice so far. Unless I'm overlooking it. But I think we cleaned out this whole place here. I don't see no flashing lights. Cause that's usually been like the ticket. That's how I've been finding things, like hitting up these flashing lights. All right. So before we go here, let's go here. think we've been here. Oh, come on, camera. Oh, please don't see that. Hold up. No, we haven't been here. Look at this. Hold up. Let me get on my feet. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, see? Look at that. See? I'm telling you, we're scavengers, yo. It may take a long time, but we will find what we need. Maya? Status report? Fire the torpedoes! Give those sons of bitches a welcome, or I'll throw you in the brig! 
sit down or I'll cut off the other arm. Sorry, Cap, what was that? Is that Khan? Why is she so angry? Something about bogeys on the radar? She's a little woozy from anesthesia. I hope she passes out again. I'm gonna draw on her face. Yo, <laughs> you heard her. <sighs> Jeez. Wait a minute. Okay. Got some juice here. We're running low after the past week. Any longer in the crash couch and I'll stop pissing that stuff. Alright. We got it. Alright, let's just check and make sure we got everything. Ugh. And Inya say that Belta food is disgusting. Is everything, um... Okay, she just said we've been boarded. And now she's wandering around looking for intruders. So, everything's fine. Maya? Are you afraid of the elderly woman with one arm? Fuck off. You weren't here. You didn't see the look in her eyes when she... Wait. Hey there. Do you want to lie down for a minute? Do you want to fucking die? Oh, no. Earthers love their oceans. Too bad they destroyed them all. Cox, I need you to tell me everything you know about this Toussaint and the Europa's Bing. They're pirates, what's to tell? Helpful as always. I'll leave you to enjoy the brig. Wait, wait. Is Kana. I mean, how is she? She'll live, no thanks to you. Or that hothead Virgil. He's the one who lunged in and made the gun go off. Which was in response to you provoking him. You seem to say that he was hiding something from us. Maybe. Let me out of here and we can talk about it. Mmm, no. Real Earth Whiskey. Even Cox has to settle for the Belta stuff. Hmm. 
Yeah, it makes you wonder why she didn't go after it. I know, I would have grabbed a taste. <laughs> <coughs> why not? Right, let me see what that is up here. Could be nothing. And it is. Okay. Got the drug. I think that's it. What's over here? Like I'm going wherever the flashing lights are. See what we got here. Boots. These boots might fit Khan. Once I get the feet out of them. Oh, yeah, feet are a good sign. Means they work. That's where we just came from there. What do you guys think? You think we, I think we collected everything. <clears throat> or maybe not. What's this? Got a barrel here. I'll take her. Good work, Sasata. Boss Meng, head over to the Belta ship. It's locked down, but I think I can blast us inside. Got it. Hopefully we'll find enough reaction mass to get out of here. And then what? We going treasure hunting? Yeah. You think those coordinates go anywhere interesting? Cox said those coordinates were valuable. But Cox started talking just to get out of the mess he made. You been at a break lately? Since you save his ass, Awala never shuts up. Hmm. I see. Whatever the Belters stole, the UNN and MCRN both went after it. But how did this turn into a shootout? Mars couldn't stand the loss of that tech. And the UNN couldn't resist the chance to get their hands on it. And the belt got caught in the middle again. Must be the captain. Very proud of his connections to the UNN brass.
Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, we're gonna head to the thing where we need to be at now. I, I think we should be good. Explosives are set. Good work, Kamina. Now let the whole station see what happens to traitors who sell out the OPA to the Inyas. I'm in. Another blast door. Pshing. Fine, I'll get more explosives. No need. I should be able to access the lockdown controls from the bridge. Good thinking, Cap. Could still find more explosives. Just in case. Please tell me you're still alive. Okay. Khan and I had to trade a few punches, but we got her calm enough to attach the prosthetic. Aw, were you worried about me? Of course I was. The next time you go up against Khan, at least bring a torpedo. Hey, I did okay without the heavy weaponry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to find an ice pack. 
That went surprisingly well. Now I'm trying not to miss anything. <sighs> Even though I'm, I don't know, I don't know if we're good. <coughs> If there's one thing all belters can agree on, it's that the moldy filters kick ass. Oh, jeez, you heard her? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we gotta get a little higher. Wouldn't let anyone get their hands on that tech. Good for them. They were heading toward Titania to link up with the Belta sect there. Almost made it. Like the sound effects <laughs> in here is like crazy. Looks like the crew tried to record a message. This message is to all Erta and Martian security forces in the area. We have received your warnings and demands, and this will be our only response. The MCRN says we have stolen their property. The UNN says we are traveling illegally in their sector. We recognize neither of your claims over us. This is our belt. Torpedoes, away! Incoming! Stand down now and let us keep our course. We will either join our OPA Baratnas on Titania, or sacrifice ourselves to your destruction. There is no other option. Belter Lorda, who here is prepared to die for your belt? Belter Lorda! Belter Lorda! Belter Lorda! Belter Lorda! Belter Lorda! You hear that? Wouldn't surrender the tech and sent their message in the only way the inners understand. What was the message? That the inners may control everything, but they can't control the belt. And they'll never control belters. Brave, Koyos. They were heading toward Titania to link up with the Belta sect there. Almost made it. Are you serious? Come on, baby.
See, this, I, I hate when I do that. After I wiped the floor with doors one time, he declared that Gogo -Go was frivolous and banned OPA from playing. <laughs> Typical. All right. I wonder if there's something in <coughs> something in here with us <clears throat> because the sound effects that I'm hearing is like it's crazy. I'll need to make a hole to pass this to the twins. Found another barrel. This is loaded, or oh, whatever the Inya say. <laughs> Touchdown! Woo! We've got some radiation from a nearby ship, the Manitoba. Scanner shows the engine is mostly intact. Maybe a few pellets too. Boss man, that's the far edge of the debris field. You'll be exposed. You two head back to the Artemis. Everyone stays on the ship, but be ready to pick me up on my order. up a communication from the Europa's Bane. Sabaka, they locked us? No, it's a broadcast. But they must know we're close. Patch it over. There is no sense in running anymore. You know who I am, and I am looking forward to meeting you. Contact me to discuss the terms of your surrender. Or just sit and wait until we find you. It's only a matter of time. Shit, shit, shit! Cap, you got to get back here! Not without fuel pellets. Stupid drone is stuck. Baka. I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil, if I respond, will they be able to trace the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, 
This is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. All right, so this is going to get tricky. <sighs> so we got to avoid them. I'm assuming if we stay out the light. Oh. Oh, wow. Now, this is going to be interesting. Okay. Uh, are we supposed to be going across? Yeah, of course. All right, let's go for it. Serious? Let me find out how she runs again. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to probably run. Oh, that's gonna get me jammed up. <laughs> Yo, the fact that she could just post up anywhere, that gets a little annoying. Like right now she's stuck. A long way from Oh Oh shoot <laughs> I don't know which one saw me. Oh look how far they made me go back. Wow. Alright. Sabaka. I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil. If I respond, will they be able to trace the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them.
you're a long way from Siri Station, Kamina Drummer. You've heard of me? I've heard of your work and your bounty. But if I'm speaking to you, what happened to Garrison Cox? He attempted to double his profits. As a result, I am now captain. Not surprising. There's no loyalty among scavengers. Not that the OPA is any better. You must really enjoy the company of miscreants. All right, we're going to give it a shot as soon as it disappears again. Oh, Jesus. These things are no joke. Wow, not gonna front. This is this part right here is a pain. <laughs> Where's that other jerk? Because <laughs> I think there's another one that pops right up too. Okay, there it is. All right, I'm gonna wait for it to maneuver. Yeah, let's let it do its whole little roundabout, then we make our move. I saw your handiwork on the Urshanabi. At least my crew are not murderers. Don't tell me Kamina Drama weeps for the lives of UNN soldiers. You don't fight for the belt. You only care about yourself. And apparently the UNN has barely touched you. So what was their crime? Foolishness. And the opportunity to send a message. One you would do well to receive. You're out of your element and your depths, Captain. No shame in surrendering a battle you didn't ask for. Okay, so I gotta get up top. Over there. Alright, I see it now.
I get from that one's gonna be hold up. Yo, that was dope. <laughs> oh, that was dope. <laughs> Yo, that was fire. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I got nervous at first, so I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me let me just see something. Just want to make sure there's nothing like, you know, no secret. Like, does he have anything? Yuri Motek, first gunner. Lucky he missed me. Mm. <clears throat> okay, nah, there's nothing. All right. You can always retreat, Toussaint. Protect the rest of your crew. Ah, Jesus. Your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri work. They were two of my best, but their needless deaths do not change. Enough. I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. Oh, boy. All right. So obviously we're going to have to walk on the wall on this one. Which gets very... Confusing. Oh, look. Hold up. We'll go right in here. Dang it. Hold up. Let me get back to normal ground. Alright. Okay, that's what we'll run to. I wish we could shoot them. Like, come on. <laughs> She's got good aim. Come on, baby. You see how fast they're moving too? That's corny.
Please tell me this thing has ammo. I'm on my way. No! Everyone, stay back! What's happening? Why are the pirates pulling away? There are always more options, Captain. I'll have the coordinates. Even if I have to comb through rubble to find them. Goodbye. You're bluffing. Hello? Toussaint! Come on. Gotta be some ammo left. <laughs> PDC delivery. Sabaka! Are you crazy? You could get killed. So could you. Now step back and let me do my job. I don't know what the fuck you two are doing, but I'm approaching your location on control thrusters for whenever we shove off. Glad you're back at your post. What are you waiting for? We only get one shot before they know our position. I believe celebrations are in order. That was dope. <laughs> Coordinates are set for the MK core. Time to see what all the fucking fuss is about. With the fuel you found, we should have no problem getting there and back to Ganymede at least. And how is the new prosthetic? It'll do. Get some rest, Captain. No telling what we'll find at those coordinates. Yo, Khan is something else. Like, yo, she is a piece of work. <laughs> oh, yo, she stuck her middle finger up at it. It's like, yo, she's something else. Hey, Khan. 
Resting. Go away. See cigar. I found this cigar on the Urshinabi. Thought you might want it. But I could always give it to the twins. Don't you dare give it to those two morons. They'd use it as a butt plug or something. <laughs> oh, gave it a, got an achievement for that. First taste, you earned it. Um, I don't think it matters, but she's gonna talk junk anyway. Nah, I'm gonna let her freaking enjoy it. That's her thing. It's a gift. It'd be wasted on me anyway. You're right about that. My husband, Bao, he used to hate when I smoked. Said it was 40 minutes of pleasure for three hours of cleaning out the air vents. He wasn't wrong. What happened to him? Pinafore, a small transport skiff owned by Trackman. I was pilot, Bao was chief mechanic. Boring work. Little outside contact. Exactly what we wanted. There'd been reports of pirates along our heading. The usual shit. We weren't worried because what's the point? And besides, we had our protocol. Protocol? A maneuver we practiced. Case of hostile boarding. I'd feign submission, hands behind my head. And when Bao thought the moment was just right, he'd say the code word and hit the deck, and then... Modified SMG with heat targeting rounds. I could draw and fire the clip in five seconds, easily take out an entire raiding party. That is actually a solid tactical maneuver. Pirates wouldn't expect a weapon there and Bao would be safe on the floor. I know. So what happened? The pirates came for us like we feared. They boarded the pinafore. I drew them in, got them occupied, and at the right moment Bao said the word. I froze. I'd never fired live rounds in battle before, and I suddenly doubted myself. What if the clip was jammed? Would it even fire? Maybe these pirates weren't so bad. It was just a moment, but it was enough time for an antsy pirate fuck to grab me and shoot my bow.
I've seen a lot of combat. Prepare all you want. No one knows how they will respond until the moment comes. Bao's death was not your fault. Maybe. Maybe not. Doesn't matter much anymore, does it? Don't you want to know the code word? Artemis. I'd never heard of her. It was Bao who read all the Greek bullshit. Apparently, she and I shared a few things in common. Your ungodly beauty? Fuck you. <laughs> Mostly, you said it was because... I never missed my shot. Tell you what. I ever get the chance? You bet your ass I won't flinch again. Can you believe how vicious these pirates are? Yes. I mean how they were willing to blow us up just to prove a point. Yes. So you don't think there's anything special about them? Yes, I do. They seem to have more guns. Any guesses on our destination? Nada. All I know is that it's far the fuck out there. So ever hid that treasure, wanted it far the fuck away. It's good talking with you, Khan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is one tough cookie. I'm telling you, she is something else. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so we give the mushrooms. But let me look around first. I don't like the fact that we can't see um like all the stuff that we collected that's the thing I don't really like I don't like the fact that we can't see that that kind of sucks but this game is it's dope it's been a rough week I should check in with the crew and see how everyone's doing. This game is dope. <laughs> really good. I really love the the action that you get. The button. Oh, let's see. Is this where he's at? I wasn't trying to talk to them just yet. Where's that Virgil dude? <laughs> He's having a ball. Look at him. What's on your mind, Captain?
I found some mushroom powder for you to cook with. Another achievement. Bursting with umami. Exceptional. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. All right, it's time to find out some some words now, dude. You owe us something. Let's see what they say. Cox said you were hiding something. Something that Belters wouldn't like. Cox is a habitual liar. First, he tried to murder you. Then he tried to deflect blame onto me. So there's nothing else you wish to share? Nothing you're hiding? No, Captain. No more than anyone else on this ship. Get some rest, Virgil. Will do, Captain. Let me see, sir. What's on your mind, Captain? Get some rest, Virgil. Will do, Captain. Okay, nothing. But you did see how he moved his arm, right? You think he's a robot? <laughs> what if he's a robot? To a bird dog, they're resting. Arlen treats Rayan like he's the weak one, but I haven't heard a single complaint from Rayan since his surgery. Okay, guess I talked to Maya. Is that who I'm supposed to give the drugs to? She wanted the drugs. I haven't been down here yet. Hold on, let me look around real quick before I talk to her. <laughs> Saving this containment vault was an awful call to have to make. But without the fuel, ammo, and oxygen it contains, we could end up losing a lot more than just a leg. Where is that fool at? <laughs> look at him. Cox. Are you here to let me out? Then kindly fuck off, Captain. Okay, well. You know, I saved his life, by the way. You know, I could have easily just let him go. Yeah, see, look at that. Because I didn't come down here. I didn't even know this, this area even existed when we did our scavenging. But they said we collected everything. We actually got an achievement. I don't... Hmm. Honestly... I'm glad Maya finally got one. This was starting to get sad. Is that her singer? 
Oh, she listening to oh she's playing oh she's listening to music okay now we got barbecue sauce it was you you stole Khan's barbecue sauce this could be anyone's sauce you can't pin it on me who are you gonna believe anyway me or the crazy old pilot the pilot What are you listening to? It's Martian music. You wouldn't like it. I'll decide what I like and don't like. Those two like each other. It's already been put out there. I miss you more than these words could ever say. That was actually dope. How long is the song up? Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> 
Well. Okay. Jesus. It's bad enough. Hey, first of all, before we go any further, YouTube, that is Martian music. All right? Let it go. Okay? Please, just let it go. All right? Thank you. Thank you. It's Martian music. Please, let it go. All right. It's a beautiful song. Yes, it was. My mom used to play it for us on the guitar. Half the time, she'd break down crying and not even finish it. It reminded her of my dad. It's funny. I hate my dad. I hate the army he died for. And I hate Mars. But I still miss it. What you did in the debris field was incredibly reckless. You disobeyed my order, and you put the whole- Oh my god. You're fucking welcome. I was getting to that. Thank you. Anytime. Khan seemed pleased with her prosthetic. Particularly the extra feature you included. That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs. I'll leave you to it then. Wait. Um. About that moment in the airlock. Here we go. Yes. Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared given how tightly you were holding my hand. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Here we go. I'm pretty sure you grabbed my hand in there. Oh, sure. We can go with that if you want. I'm just saying, I'm here if you need to talk. The only thing we need to talk about is your delusional fantasizing about me. I get it. It must be hard for the boss Meng to express her feelings. <laughs> Especially to the hot Martian engineer who can totally kick your ass. Not according to that scoreboard. My point is, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Mm. Even if you did clink helmets with me. Clink helmets? What is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means. Helmet clinker. What is a helmet clinker? Uh, do I want to kiss her? Do I want to bring it there? Um, let's just say so what? Let's pretend for a moment that we did touch helmets. So what? You're clearly obsessing over such an insignificant moment. It's sad. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. Bullshit. From the look in your eyes, I would have thought helmet clinking was Belter third base. You know, we could stand here talking about <clears throat> hands and helmets all night. Or we could go back to my room and... Oh, shoot. Settle it. You know what? I'm gonna go with it. I settle it. Are you talking about sex? Only one way to find out. Oh, shoot. Wow. OK. 
Okay. <clears throat> I thought we had some drugs to give somebody, right? Didn't somebody say they needed drugs? I could have swore we had some drugs. You could tell that those two guys ain't going on. Like that's the reason why I had to. I had to say that. I had to. It, it wouldn't have been me if I did it. <laughs> oh, oh man! All right, let's get out of here. That was a beautiful song, by the way. Most likely. Okay, where's her room at? If I sleep with Maya, the entire crew will know about it. Nothing stays secret on a ship like this. Is one night worth all the drama? Oh no. Don't tell me this is a decision. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo. What decision do we make? Do we go in there creeping? Get a little taste? Everyone's gonna find out. Oh, man. This is a tough one. Hmm. Let's see. So the only reason why I would want to go in the room is if, like, yo, we could get, like, some some action going on. But if we're not, then it's kind of a waste to go in there. I don't know. I'm real confused now. Now, which one should I do? I wonder, do you get like an achievement for uh, for creeping with her, or should I just go to my room, <laughs> take my ball, and go to my room? Yo, you know what? I honestly don't know which one to pick. Um, yeah, I don't know which one to pick. I am the captain, so... You know... <coughs> who cares what, what people may think? So I think we're gonna do like a little any mini money mode thing here and just try to make it happen.
I don't know. You know what? I think she's going to be mad at me if I don't go into the room. So I think it's either one. So I feel like if you go into this room here, at least somebody's getting some release. You know what I mean? So let's go for the release. I'm sorry. That's just how I am. You know, I, you know, shoot, we had a long day. So let's get the release, right? Everybody's going to be mad anyway. But guess what? I'm the captain. So we get to do what we want. So let's go get this release. <laughs> Definitely. Fucking finally. When Cox sat us down in the mess hall, I thought you were dead. And today in the airlock, I thought we were dead. I know. I'm just saying. You're not allowed to die on me, Kamina Drummer. Because I'm not losing the one person in the belt I give a shit about. Captain, you're going to want to see this. There's nothing on the map. No record of any settlements. So what the fuck is that? All right, <laughs> we did it. We finished this one. This was a little longer than normal because I was stagnate with a lot of stuff, but guess what? We did it. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's see what my decisions were. Um, Wait a minute, I did find the medicine. What? So look how many people picked that one. <laughs> oh, man, that's too funny. Anyway, people, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love y'all. Stay safe. Uh, this is episode two. Yes, it's been a long one, but guess what? If you love action and drama and excitement, it is definitely worth it. All right? This is episode two, people. All right? I'll see you guys on episode three. Peace.